All right, good morning everybody and welcome to our next tech video. Uh, this is uh, Jakub Vanish and I'm going to be talking about something that recently blew my mind, something that has been announced just two days ago by Sam Altman. But what we're looking at is uh, quite a recent video. Uh, it is a video that is obviously AI generated uh, of Will Smith eating spaghetti and it looks funny and incredible. And we were thinking we were so far away from like Hollywood quality uh, of, uh, of these uh, AI generated videos. But let me tell you, this is May 2023, nine months ago. So in a second, we're just gonna go ahead and show you how does it look like now and it's quite incredible it's really remarkable this is the new model of uh, open ai so like i said some altman uh, just two days ago announced uh, the launch of this new product that they have just like they have dali 3 which is a text to uh, image uh, prompting tool and it's part of the chat gpt right now they're going to be launching sora which is text to video you know for most of the people that are not looking for the dead giveaways of you know ai generated content they would not know this really looks like you know a lady that is walking through tokyo and that's just really really remarkable y usually the things that are off you know in these ai generated pictures and images have been the the hands and fingers of people so uh, in the next scene we're looking at really bustling you know center uh, with tons of people tons of colors but there are not that many inconsistencies. If you slow it down or pause, maybe you will see a few, but but this looks incredible, really mind-blowing, and I think most of the people would not be able to tell. I think, you know, who would really benefit from this is, uh, you know, the Shutterstock companies uh, or basically the people that are using Shutterstock, uh, you know, images and videos for their PowerPoints and for their pr presentations and sales pitches. Because look at this, for example, this really looks like just a drone shot, but it's incredible. Uh, the next one, this is this is prompted with a giant cathedral is completely filled with cats. There are cats everywhere you look. A man enters the cathedral and bows before the giant cat king sitting on a throne. <laughs> so that's uh, that's really a funny one. Um, of course, it looks animated, but one thing that you need to bear in mind is, you know, this is the worst that this is ever gonna be in the future this is only gonna look better and better uh here this ant was prompted with a point of view of footage of an ant navigating the inside of an ant nest and again it looks incredible here we're looking at a chinese new year uh, again like i think most of the people in the world will not be able to tell that this is not a real footage this was prompted with uh, the dog vlogger, <laughs> and it kind of looks like a dog vlogger. Okay, that that uh, that bird that was flying by was looking a little bit off, and sometimes the shadows are off. But the fur and the physics and the movements and animations are all quite incredible. Um, the next one that we're looking at is California du during the gold rush, and yeah, I think there is like a disappearing cart of horses or something like that. But this really looks incredible and i'm i i don't know if i'm terrified by this or or if i'm if i'm super super excited um next one is also very nice sometimes they are more stylized this one uh, is stylized uh, so these are woolly mammoths several giant woolly mammoths approaching uh, treading through a snow meadow snowy meadow their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk even this shot, right? Like a lot of CRT TVs uh, would probably be quite expensive to generate if you would have to, you know, buy all of them or rent all of them and put them into the correct lighting. And all these reflections in the in the floor are incredible. Uh, yeah, now we can take a look at these golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Uh, this is this is the prompt, and it's slow motion, but the movement of, of ears and the movement of the snow and of the fur. It's just really extremely believable. And I find that a little bit scary. Uh, next one was prompted with a cat waking up its sleeping owner demanding breakfast. Again, what you need to look at is are the physics, right? The physics of the pillows, etc. I think the next one is probably the, the most impressive. It was prompted with 
A movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on a 35mm film with vivid colors. (laughs) Even shots like these that look like, you know, it's just somebody taking a video from a from a train are incredible. <sighs> the next one, we're looking at a Minecraft clip. So this is a Minecraft clip generated entirely by Sora and Sora can simult- simultaneously con- control the player in Minecraft with a basic policy while also rendering the world around. So, okay, right now it's not real life, but the future games are just going to be AI generated like this. Life, you know, it's going to be like dreams. You will just think of what you want to play and it will generate in front of your eyes with a device like Apple Vision Pro. This also looks a little bit more um, video gamey, I would say. But what we're looking at here is a consistency of, of entity. So that robot in different environments was always very consistent. This one is my favorite. Uh, the prompt was beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. This one looks, uh, it's a drone shot and it's another superpower unlocked by this ability of seamlessly blending individual videos together. So we started as a drone shot, but it merged into a butterfly, you know, submerging into a coral leaf uh, reef region. Uh, this one I like as well. It shows you immediately the effects of these prompts that are being made, you know, going through the dinosaur era and lush jungle and rainbow road. I, I just can't believe what we're you know looking at and where this is gonna lead us in the future so I just showed you about uh, 21 of these uh, examples and now they're going on repeat but this is like I said at the same time very impressive but also extremely scary especially in like an election year in in uh, the US you know now everybody can just create evidences or fake videos and I, I think in general, 80 to 90% of the people that are not really into tech don't know how to distinguish reality from, from these videos. And they will believe the propaganda and they will believe what they see. Also for you know uh, content creators and for Hollywood, etc., this is gonna this is gonna be a very difficult period because why would you you know study thousands and thousands of hours uh, to to be able to create you know something if this can be generated with a tool that will probably cost you ten to twenty dollars a month and you can you can create these videos um, for basically almost for free um, uh, with one prompt you can generate up to sixty seconds of content um, but. Yeah, so there are there are a few things that are quite dystopian about this, and there are a lot of things that are really exciting. I, for one, always wanted to be a like a movie director, so I cannot wait to you know put together a script and prompt by prompt, you know, generate these one minute sections and you know put it together, edit it together, and have my first feature film. You know, even if it's AI generated, I think it's you know gonna have my soul in it. But yeah, I think we'll have to wait and see. Um, Another question that I have in my mind right now is if some Altman and OpenAI, you know, they they showed these videos right now and, you know, they're so far away with this model, what is it that they are cooking in there, right? Because, you know, some Altman was fired from from OpenAI in November 2023 uh, for like two days, famously. Um, because, uh, yeah, I think in general, the, the board was afraid of, you know, where this is leading. And I am quite sure that this is leading into AGI, artificial general intelligence. And what does it mean for the future of hu- humanity? We will have to wait and see, but I am whew, quite unsure where, uh, you know, this is heading and how soon we're going to be there. So... Um, Yeah, buckle up everybody. (laughs) I hope uh, for the best, of course, and I hope that we'll see uh, quite a lot of positive content on the internet. But this has been Jakub Vanish and thanks a lot for following me and uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, type of content. Thanks a lot once again and uh, yeah, keep coming back for more. Thanks and cheers. Bye bye.